Hey, you're standing on my quarry, dude. I'm trying to field dress that sucker for you. Oh, you're stepping right on his head. Mind your manners, little guy. Give me my quarry back. Thank you. Yeah, so what I was about to say is we hit this one right in the back and then it just passed through, exited out his crop. Looks like he's eating some corn. Ah, this guy is hungry. Even the ducks are hungry. What the heck? So this, um, some gel that I made at home and uh, shot some couple different setups through here. These first two are some dome pellets. The top one is the uh, Predator GTO 22 cal and it passed all the way through the block, 10 inch block. And then the lower one is a um, JSB Mark II Heavy 25 cal and that one passed through the block. And then <clears throat> over here is my uh, slugs that I built up, 22 cal and 25 cal, the 22 has a pretty good t uh, permanent wound cavity, full pancake expansion, and then the 25 cal, same, just a little more uh, penetration. It's 16.5 grain versus uh, 34 grain. So, yeah, they're doing pretty good permanent wound channels, and uh, they're dumping their energy pretty much right away within first half inch so yeah just different setups for penetration or for a uh, gnarly wound cavity you know so uh, what kind of projectiles were you shooting today um, I was shooting some of my homemade slugs uh, 22 caliber, 22 grains. 22 grain? Yeah, 22 grain. Sorry. Yeah, see, I was shooting the Hades, and for all the talk I hear about how good they are, I didn't have as very good luck with it. I had a lot of birds fly away on me. You're the expert, dude. You gotta sound professional. So I'm asking you, uh, air guns of Idaho, like, <laughs> in your professional opinion, what am I have to, what do I have to do to knock these birds down? Straight uh, down. Straight down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, dude. I had great success with the Hades myself. Um, great success. Yeah. Did you test the expansion? Though? Yeah, I've tested the expansion. I've shot. So the left two pellets I uh, recovered from pass-throughs on those doves, and then the right one's an unfired pellet, and then uh, didn't get that good expansion. I tested it some more, and I think this one might have hit some bone, like some breastbone or something. So it got a little mangled, but so then this long one here is the Hades, and uh, had a real cool uh, wound channel, not quite as messy as the um, slug ones. But uh, then we got like full expansion of the projectile. But uh, I think when you hit a live quarry, it gets like clogged up with feathers or fur or whatever. And um, you don't get that good uh, expansion like you do when you shoot them into water or gel. But anyways, that's just what I've been finding out. And then the penetration is a little bit too deep for... Uh, what I'm looking for. Check up, check up on them and see if they're dead or not. If they're not dead, we should just take them out. No, have them suffer, you know? <clears throat> if, uh, if some of them aren't dead, are you going to try to resuscitate them? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, this is Idaho, dude. <laughs> <laughs> At 100, my first shot was straight on and then Luis shot this one. You shot that with the uh, compass, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll try. I'm trying. 
No. How'd I miss that?